Good morning, Adventure Nation. We owe you guys an update on what we've been doing. It's been a while, but we're back on the road again. And in this video, we're gonna give you a little quick update and we're heading off to the Pomona RV show. This is the Motorhome Experiment. Okay gang, so we had this whole update video thing planned before we left for the Pomona RV show. And as usual, we got way behind on what was happening, trying to get the tow dolly ready, which is another story <laughs> that we won't get into right now because Lori will get angry. Um, no? Just bummed. Just bummed out. So before you completely refurbish a tow dolly, you guys are gonna love this. I gotta share this knucklehead stuff with you because you know what? People are people and sometimes we do stupid things and other people can learn from those stupid things. So I refurbished the tow dolly, got it all looking nice and we'll show pictures and stuff because it was still kind of a cool project. Brand new lights put on it, all that kind of stuff. Never even thought, because I had kind of eyeballed it, never even thought that the Ford Edge that Lorena drives wouldn't fit on it. It was too wide by about that much. By about that much. It's too wide. So we can't use the tow dolly. So we're gonna sell that tow dolly. We're gonna find another one. We're actually gonna look while we're down here in Pomona and in the LA area because we're sure that there's more options down here for us. So last night we stayed at Peggy Sue's Diner on Interstate 15 between Las Vegas and Pomona. Great overnight boondocking spot. Not so quiet. No, because of the trucks. The trucks make it a little bit noisy, but huge, huge amount of free parking here. You could park 60 RVs here overnight. There was probably 60, 80 trucks here last night, several RVs, and Peggy Sue's Diner is actually a great stop. One of these times we'll do a, a video of the, the diner itself. It's this quirky little, you know, Route 66 kind of looking diner, and uh, little dinosaurs out back, and just a weird eclectic little place. So we'll do a video of that at another time to show you the Peggy Sue's itself. But for now, it's back on Interstate 15 South and heading down to Pomona to the RV show. And then we're gonna have some video from the RV show as well. This will be day one. Ready? Ready. Perfect. Let's do this. pretty the entrance raging waters is also here so if you're into water parks you have raging waters still open? I don't know if it's still open Somebody this time here well yeah they close for the winter hi there we're staying down at East Shore which this is not the right spot ah so see the GPS brought us in off of Verde, via Verde here so okay Cool, so how do I turn around? Where do I turn around? Uh, wherever you can turn. All right, perfect. And right back on through here? Yeah. Thank you. And it had that route too, but I was like, well, I'll jump into another freeway. If we can come through here. So, word of warning, don't let your GPS bring you in off of 57 South to this campground because uh, off of, yeah, it's off of 10, so. Um, we're gonna do a U-turn here because, you know, driving this little Volkswagen-sized vehicle, we can do those sort of things. And, uh, we're having people scatter everywhere. Mm -hmm. 
and off to Via Verde on the other side of Benelli Park, I guess. Okay, let's try this again from the other side. Oh, they have a golf course too. We've got the golf clubs. So, Lori, we're at East Shore Campground and yes. we're biking over to the Pomona RV Show. Yes. Is it going to be as hard as you thought? It's going to be as hard as I thought? Yeah. Probably. <laughs> it's only supposed to be two or three miles. Three miles, three and a half miles each way. But one of those going down there coming back, not, not sure which one. Yeah, but we're it's already... It's going to be up here. It's already flat here. And this is dark though. <laughs> That's why I'm still brain good. <laughs> this is the only way to do the RV show. It beats the traffic. It's parking right up front. Let's go. Are you ready for yeah. walking, walking, walking? <laughs> so gang, here we are at the Pomona RV show on uh, Friday. And uh, we're gonna just take a quick walk around. We only have a few hours left today. We're gonna spend more time on both Saturday and Sunday. So come along first, for the ride. Buy tickets. Yeah, tickets. This is a 27, 27-ish 27 foot Numar something. And uh, that's horrible information, Paul. It's terrible information. I'm not a sales guy. But 27 foot and it's got a full wall slide, so it's really, really it spacious. Two slides. The full wall. I guess it's not really a full wall, it's a three-quarter. So it makes it feel extremely spacious, even being this small. That's something that we have been worrying about. Like when we go into the 27 to 30 foot, we feel it's gonna feel confined. But this one feels very spacious. And you also have your couch and your dinette that sometimes you can choose for one or the other, but not both, and this one has both, so it's kinda nice. And the bedroom is also spacious back here with closets and everything. You have your queen. I'd rather have a king, but, but, but your closets are pretty big, like mine and mine. Where's your spot? Yeah, that's the problem is I don't have a closet here. I just <laughs> would have one of these like little drawers down in the bottom from my clothes. I'm just an abused husband. Oh, boy. And the bathroom is the one that we found it was the tightest. Yeah, this is a little tight, guys. Like you see the space between the sink and the shower is not a whole lot and the shower is very very small you don't you spend that much time in there do what there is that you have to do and get out of there right so it, it's you know when you're in the smaller coaches like this you're going to give up space somewhere and because it's so spacious in the rest of the coach it's the, the bathroom that's really kind of the small thing but uh really like it the only thing i don't like is we want to watch a movie and sit down on the couch and all that where's the tv yeah, I know. The TV up front puts it in a weird spot. 
Okay, gang, we interrupt the Pomona RV show to bring you the update video. We owed this to you guys. We haven't been really talking about what we've been doing. We've been off the vlog for a couple of weeks at least uh, because we've been getting the house ready for sale. Mm -hmm. This is Friday of the Pomona show, so it's Friday the 13th. Oh, it's Friday oh, the 13th. I didn't know that. Ah. And we have our black cat. And we have a black cat. <laughs> Friday the 13th, we actually listed the house last Saturday with a broker and we've had an enormous amount of traffic and we got our first offer today, although we're probably gonna reject it. Counter offer. We're gonna counter offer, yes. Uh, but we've had great traffic. So the reason we haven't been vlogging is we've really been trying to focus on the house. We goofed off for two or three weeks there and went out on the road. And so now we've been trying to get the house ready and we, we got the kitchen renovations completely done, the countertops and the floors downstairs. And, and I re-tiled uh, the front foyer where you first come into the house. I will never tile anything ever again. It was an absolute freaking nightmare. Uh, so I won't do that again, but we've got all the painting done and uh, the bathroom downstairs done. All the renovations that we wanted to do we got done we think it looks amazing and obviously from the traffic that we've been getting and the fact that we've got an offer in five days uh the people thought that we did a pretty decent job as well and and that was our intention to get the house sold that was quick the purpose yeah right just to just to get it sold quickly it wasn't about making a bunch of money on the reservations because you know that's you never know it, it was about getting the house uh, competition ready so that we could compete with some of the other stuff in the neighborhood. And we'd mentioned in other videos, gang, that you know we had all these houses for sale in our neighborhood, and so we were worried about all the competition. And when the realtor sat down with us on Saturday, she said, hey, good news, you're the only house for sale in your neighborhood. Like all the ones for competition, and we're talking like, it was a ton of houses. Like there Six was or so, eight. so many, no more. There was so many signs in our neighborhood, it was crazy. They all were already under escrow, so they were all sold. Yeah. So ours was going to be the only one in the neighborhood. So that was amazing too. It Perfect was absolutely timing. amazing. Perfect timing. And literally in a week, we've had two to three people a day going through the house. We've got our first offer five days in. So it's exciting. It's good news. So I think that's so about it. So next step, soon full timers. Full timers. Yeah. And as soon as the house closes, guys, then this is gonna, you guys are going to get sick of seeing us online. Uh, we're going to be pounding out the videos and we're going to have all kinds of cool stuff and adventures and and uh, how to's and all that kind of stuff. So we look forward to that. Okay. That's well. it. Back to the <laughs> regular scheduled video. That's our update, guys. So back to the Pomona RV show and we'll see you guys again soon. The Newmar it was the Baystar Sport. So kind of Newmar, like an entry level, but really nice coach. Okay, now this is the Newmar Baystar, but it's not the Baystar Sports, the regular Baystar, the 3124, which I believe is probably 32 feet. It's got the, I love those, the bay doors like that. You're not hitting your head. So, yeah, so you're not smashing your head. I, I love that. <laughs> Much nicer way to do a door. Yeah, all these new ones, they're coming The full the slide. Way is incredible can be very good then but i bet if it doesn't work like the uh the captain's chairs are nice Ooh, and i have my desk you do have a desk over there it's kind of cheesy but way to do a desk but it's not bad and with my laptop here while polly's driving heading to the ocean or the mountains yeah again the tv up front which just i don't like because again, you're sitting over here, and when you're sitting here, how do you see the TV? Now you can see it from the dining room, but not ideal. Kitchen's really well done. Fridge. I like the wall treatment, Lori, in here. The what? The wall treatment's really cool. Decent closet space, not a whole lot. Actually, kind of like a her closet and a maybe a his closet, and then I don't know what the heck this is up in here. Oh, some electronics for the back TV. 
Is that washer and dryer space or? You know me so well. No, what? this is pantry. Oh, pantry space. I was wondering cool. where it was. You said I know you so well. Oh, about the closet. Oh. You were mentioning. Yeah, I know I'm getting short change on closet space. Not bad. That looks like a king, maybe. So. It does look like a king. Yeah. There. <laughs> I love my king. She needs a king bed just because I take up so much space. Oh, I'm a small it? guy, but I sprawl when I sleep. This has one of those new doors that I love. To oh, I love those doors. Check high. this out, guys. That's just such a great way to do a door and uh, takes up less space. It doesn't swing out into the living space. That's cool. But you can't have the door open and be using the bathroom because that oh, will hit like you. We do that. Decent sized shower space. Very good size. Yeah. Very good size. But again, small bathroom for this size coach. Yes. But again, you're only in there for it's a very it's short not, period of time. It doesn't have a front bunk bed. No. So I know this. And I love when kitchens don't have ovens. Like who bakes cookies when you're on the right. Like, so I'd right. rather have the space for storage. <clears throat> So, Newmar, good job on the base stars. Yeah. We uh, we like them. So far, so good, except for location of TV. That's right good. now, again, it's about finding you know eighty percent of what you need. So that's about it for us today, gang, from the Pomona RV show. I know it was kind of short, but uh, we uh, got here a little bit late and our legs are killing us. We bicycled over here, now we gotta bicycle back to the RV park and that's gonna be a chore in itself. So uh, we'll have more for you tomorrow. If you've been here before, like the video. If you haven't been here before, make sure you subscribe to the channel, stay up to all of our adventures up to date on all of our adventures. And uh, I think that's about it. For today. For today. We'll now we gotta tomorrow. jump on these things here and, uh, and do that. Uh, head back to the RV. And yeah, and it's exit time. Now the question is, is my phone still here? It is. You got lucky, Laurie. Totally forgot about it. <laughs>